All right, guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on something called glycogen because there's some confusion with, because it sounds like glucose and glucagon and all these other uh, similar terms, okay? So we have glycogen is basically the storage of sugar. It's the storage of glucose. So we have glucose molecules all strung together, connected, uh, collectively is called glycogen, okay? Now to store glycogen, you need potassium. And this is why if someone's on a low potassium diet, they don't store glycogen as well. So what happens when you actually consume carbs, your body increases insulin, and then it starts storing glycogen as a first uh, thing that it does. And then at a certain point, anything extra, it starts to route it to fat, okay? So it converts carbs into fat because we really only have a, a small amount of storage of glycogen, about 1,700 calories, roughly about a day supply. And then we run out and then our body is supposed to tap into fat. So then the question is, what is normal blood sugars and what is too much? And when do you start to uh, go from storing glycogen to storing fat? Well, <laughs> normal blood sugars is about 80. So that basically means out of all of your blood, about a gallon and a third, it's only really one teaspoon of sugar, okay? It's very, very small amounts. And you can get that sugar from uh, the conversion of fat into sugar or protein into sugar. So we don't need sugar to actually make glycogen. Your body can make it. Also, just FYI, stress, um, like cortisol, the hormone cortisol activated by stress will also increase the storage of glucose. So in the liver, it'll just start making more sugar uh, out of protein and make more glucose if you need some, okay? And especially during a stress state. Now, out of this total amount of glycogen, uh, the muscle pretty much holds about 75% of the glycogen and the brain does not have a glycogen reserve. It doesn't store sugar. It gets its fuel from the blood. So whatever's happening in the blood, if there's low blood sugar or high sugar, it'll pull from that. But the point is that the body doesn't store it, okay? It gets it from other places, but the brain loves to run on ketones. Now, in a little bit of sugar, but again, that sugar could be made from other things. It doesn't have to come from sugar, but it loves ketones. Same thing with the heart. The heart loves ketones as a fuel better than glucose, and it also loves fatty acids. So it can run on a few things, and it doesn't have to run on glucose. There's just a couple parts of the body that do need some glucose, but again, your body can make it through something called gluconeogenesis, the formation of new sugar. And when we run our body on glucose exclusively because you're on a high carbohydrate diet, we get into trouble because number one, we get the conversion into fat, and then we create insulin resistance, and that creates more insulin, so we have a lot of problems. But this video is mainly just to educate you on exactly what glycogen is and how it can be created in the body. All right, thanks for watching. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I wanna actually hear about your success story. I wanna see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.